even at the ass. Cuz I bet you not one of the real ones. Hey, you don't see like one of the real ones to me. Nah, hey, I bet you not one of the real ones. Hey. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and this is Brian's World where everything and anything can happen. We got my favorite animated uh, YouTuber called Bruce Stew. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Stew. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do that. I didn't have like a stroke or anything. I mean it's not funny. But anyway, um, we got another Bruce Stew reaction for you guys. It's called The Homeless Hitchhiker. I've never picked up a hitchhiker. Uh, hit. mm. Loki, I cannot talk. What? I think it's on Twitch or weird. Anyway, um, another Bruce Lee reaction, the homeless hitchhiker. Um, like I said, uh, I always, you know, I used to, when I lived in California, I'd see a lot of hitchhikers and, you know, see a lot of homeless people. Where I live, I live in Arizona now, there's a lot of homeless people. I think there's a lot more homeless people out here than in LA where I used to stay at. But let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Like I said before, um, I want to do, if you guys want to comment down below or I'll put my Instagram or my Snapchat or what, whatever social media links down below so I can do a subscriber Saturday or, or subscriber Sunday. That way I react to you guys' videos, whatever you guys link me, I'll go ahead and react to them. Whether them being bad or old, I'll react to them anyway. But, you know, would you just let me know. But let's go ahead and get straight into this video, guys. All right, this is a story about how I gave a homeless guy a ride to a prostitute. Now, how did I get myself in this predicament? Well, sit back and relax, I'll tell you. So one winter night, my fiance and I went out to dinner and we are on our way home. We pull onto our street and we see this old guy just uh, trudging along in the freezing cold. He's going like eight inches an hour with this little shitty walker. Now, normally I can stifle my guilt. I can just ignore the whole situation and just drive right on past, you know, like the terrible person that I am. But my fiance's with me. She gives me that look like <laughs> Yo How many people raise your hand right now or post it in the comments a little hand emote? How many times do you guys go past homeless people? And it's not funny, it's not funny, but it's like you wish you could help them, but maybe you're not financially stable yourself to help them. I don't know, like me? Sometimes like my dollar or like they're asking for it. never really um if someone's begging, like, come on, man, I never ha ever had, like, that happen to me, but, uh, if, I, if they're really in need, if I really, gen like, genuinely feel that they're in need, I'll help them out, but sometimes people like to think that, um, I'm feeding their drug addiction because sometimes I'll give away, like, a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars or something like that, or it could just be going to food for me or gas or something like that but just let me know in the comments down below like have you guys ever been in like a situation to where you see a homeless person say okay you guys I don't, I don't i'm just gonna use mcdonald's for an example you're like you just got off of work and i'm rambling relax i'm rambling you guys just got off of work and you're coming home and like i'm, I'm gonna get some mcdonald's so you get some mcdonald's and you, you hit the stoplight and you see this homeless person cold and hungry and he has like one leg and this is just made up in my head i don't know any homeless person with one leg but they look at you and you look at them as you're taking a fry and putting it in your mouth like how do you feel and then the light turns green and you're fucking gone like what <laughs> that's bad i'm sorry i'm gonna keep going uh, are you really that big of a piece of shit? Are you really just gonna let this old man just die out here in the elements? And I was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Look, I'm not picking up some random guy on the street. Look at him over there. He looks dangerous. Oh, all right, Jesus Christ, I'll pick him up. So I drop her off at the house. I pull up next to him. Hey, old man River, you are gonna die out here. You need a ride home? Man, I don't got no home. I'm homeless, goddammit. Oh, uh, okay. The black homeless dudes. They're the meanest. I'm just fine. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Relax. 
Well, you want to ride somewhere? So he gets in the car. I'm a little suspicious of this guy. He's really dirty. He smells like a hangover. He kind of looks like a guy that probably has nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? He might have a knife in his pocket or a hand grenade under his shirt or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to warn you. I have a uh, flamethrower in the trunk of my car. So no funny business. Hey, whatever, man. My name is John. J-O-N. John. There's no H. Uh, okay. Thanks for pointing that out for me. My name's Tyler. T-Y-L-E-R. There ain't no H in that either. We got something in common, I guess. Look, man, I just need a ride to my girlfriend's house. I'm trying to get some booty. Uh, all right. Well, this is already more than I bargained for. Cool. I'm over here just trying to be a nice person, save this old man's life, and now I'm on a quest to get this homeless guy some booty. Perfect. Just take me over down LaGrange Street real quick. Oh, that's great. LaGrange Street. Let me tell you a little something about LaGrange Street. If you're in search for a prostitute and some smack, well, you're in luck. Because look. La no, he, he did not hit the honey smacks. Before before I had cancer and I did chemo, those were pretty good. But now I can't really taste cereal anymore. Cause most most cereal tastes like cardboard to me. But those nah, those are all right to me. But when I was a kid, I just man, those were like cocaine to me. And Oh, I was right on. Never mind. Grain Street is the Disney World of prostitutes and smack. It's a dime a dozen out there because it's in a shitty part of town. And the farther you go down the Grain Street, the shittier it gets. You go down that street far enough, all of a sudden you're looking around like, oh shit, how'd I end up in Afghanistan? God damn it. So there I am, smack dab in the middle of the hood, taking a homeless guy to see a prostitute. Just what I wanted to do with my Saturday night. It's like a bunch of abandoned buildings around us. I'm running over dead bodies with my car. Man, this is a nice car. This is like a spaceship car uh well it's a 2008 ford taurus but uh sure it's a spaceship car hey man you got any money i can have uh no i usually don't keep cash on me come on man i'm starving out here look john with no h another thing sorry i keep pausing it but how many of you guys said like a homeless person you guys got a dollar or something You're like oh, i don't have any cash on me and then like you're most of the time it happens like going into a store but um, they want to ask you if you have any cash. I'm like, no, I don't have any cash. And then, like, <laughs> you know, you have, like, maybe, like, 20 bucks or something, like, in your pocket that you're, like, about to use for food. Um, oh, okay. All right. How about I stop somewhere and get you something to eat? How's that sound? So I pull into a Wendy's. It's the shittiest Wendy's I've ever seen in my life. Like, even the Wendy's girl on the sign's got, like, gang tattoos and shit. I'm in the drive-thru, and before I can even start ordering, this dude just leans over and starts yelling out the window. Yeah, I need a four-piece... Nugget, double cheeseburger, large fry, uh, another four-piece nugget. Jesus Christ, John, get out of my face. Your breath smells like a Denny's bathroom, for Christ's sake. This dude orders, like, $27 worth of Wendy's because apparently he's the very hungry homeless guy and he wants to become a goddamn butterfly. So I'm pretty pissed at this point. My opinion of John is rapidly declining. Hey, you know, this friendship kind of seems a little one-sided, don't you think? I'm over here giving you a ride and some Wendy's. What are you giving me? Nothing. Maybe some bed bugs in my car. I don't even know. No. So we pull out of Wendy's, and John's got the audacity to ask me for more money. Yo, are you sure you don't got any money I can have? God damn it, John, I just told you I don't have any cash on me. And you probably just overdrafted my checking account, getting <laughs> your smorgasbord of Wendy's food. Well, can you go to an ATM or something? I'm not going to an ATM. Are you smoking crack? I don't know. Do you got some? No, John, I don't have any crack, because I must have smoked it all right before I decided to pick you up. Well, how about you pick up a couple bottles of wine? We can go party at my girl's house. Yeah, John, I'll get right on that. Boop, 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 boop. Honey, I'm going to be a little late. I'm gonna party with this homeless guy and his hooker girlfriend. See you later. Just show up there. Hey, hooker lady, you ready to party? We've got your favorite, wine and Wendy's, because everybody knows a nice Pinot Noir pairs well with a four-piece nugget. No, John, I'm not gonna go party with you and some lady of the night. Why not? Because that's the most insane shit I've ever heard of. That's why. Are you serious? You have no teeth in your head, John. You have lupus, I'm pretty sure. And I was tempted to just kick him out of my car right then and there, but in the back of my mind, I was just like, you know what? Just do it. Just get him to where he needs to be. So that when you die, you'll be up there at the pearly gates trying to get into heaven. And St. Peter's going to be like, uh, your resume looks like shit. You're not going into heaven. And I'll be like, yeah, well, what about that one time I got that homeless guy some booty? And then God's going to pop up like, yeah, Peter, let him in. Stop being a dick. So I just need to tough it out, do the right thing, and drive this dirty old man to a prostitute. Well, now he starts getting a little pissy with me because I'm not going to give him any money. Whatever, Dan, I don't need your money. I got some money right here. Hey, pull over to this liquor store. Let me get some beer. 
You just asked me for money. Yeah? What? So what? You have money. Well, yeah, but I'd have more money if you gave me your money, dummy. All right, get out of my car. <laughs> Hold on a goddamn minute. Get out of my spaceship car, John, with no H. No wonder why you don't have an H in your name, John. You probably sold it for crack. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get out of your car without my walker, you stupid ass? God damn it. Here, take your walker and your goddamn Wendy's. Good luck getting your booty. And I left them right there, right in the middle of Afghanistan. There's probably people driving by wondering what the hell is going on. <laughs> Why is that man kicking that senior citizen out of his vehicle? Sir, are you looking for a ride? Oh, hell yeah. My name's John. J-O-N. John. No H. You guys want a party? You got any crack in here? I went home. I was so pissed. I barged to the door like, hey, thanks for uh, letting me be a homeless guy's booty chauffeur for an hour. Just drained my bank account by buying 15,000 chicken nuggets. Next old guy we see out in the street, we're letting him die. <laughs> Man, it's bad that every time I see a homeless person, like I really want to help them. Like you can't help them all, man. Some even sometimes they like you give them money, and you know it's not gonna be for food. But you know that's life, man. <clears throat> Need water. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video. Um, I'm, like I said, I want to do like a new segment. Se segment, I think I said that right. Um, subscriber Saturday or subscriber Sunday, whichever day you guys want to know. Um, let me know in the comments down below, and just send me videos. I'll react to them. And I was at first, I was like, um, you know, send me videos, I'll react to them. But then there's videos I want to react to myself. But if I can set aside, all right, Saturday or Sunday. I would do subscri subscriber videos, but uh, stay tuned for that, man. And like I said, you know, keep up with me on the social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, Twitter. I have all those. Uh, as well as, you know, go show some love to my Twitch. I stream sometime. I stream tonight. I, I have no idea. I stream random times. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I hope you guys had a great weekend as well. But I'm going to end this video right here, and I love y'all, and I got you. Peace.